Good evening. My name is Eric Hayden. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Newport, Moorhead City. This is our video update Thursday evening. Not a lot of major changes for the forecast Friday night into Saturday morning. The biggest change is our confidence has increased that we will see some snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Again, especially inland areas away from the coast and especially as you live farther north and west. With that increased confidence, our area, at least most of eastern North Carolina, is under a winter weather advisory. Farther to the north and west toward the Raleigh area, those folks are under a winter storm warning. Bottom line, an advisory means a nuisance. It's not to not pay attention to it. It just means it won't be as impactful as a warning, which is more uh, of an impactful event in terms of snow or ice. One area that we don't expect um, much in terms of impacts will be immediate, like Ocracoke, uh, Hatteras Island, those areas. But even the northern Outer Banks, places like Duck, Kill Level Hills, you folks under that uh, winter weather advisory as well. Still really keying in on Friday evening, Friday overnight, very early Saturday morning. That's the time period we're concerned with. We are not concerned with the daylight hours on Friday, so school, uh, things like that should be just fine. A wintry mix of sleet, maybe a little freezing rain, snow, and even plain rain. Kind of a little bit of everything moves in Friday evening. And it's really after uh, 6, 7 o'clock, and then in that through midnight, two, three, four in the morning time frame. That's when we think some of the higher impacts can be with hazardous travel for a good chunk of the area. Uh, in addition, maybe some snow, but uh, more freezing rain and sleet for some of us. Some of it could linger into first thing Saturday morning. We're talking around sunrise, 7 a.m., that type of time frame, especially areas to the north and west. We'll show you that in, in a moment. Most of Saturday during the day will be fine. We'll be above freezing. We'll melt whatever we have, and we will try to dry out. If we don't, anything lingering in terms of wet roads, especially wet bridges, Saturday night will refreeze into black ice. This is our timeline of wintry precipitation. We handpicked a few cities. I know we can't cover everyone. Please visit that link at the top, weather.gov slash Moorhead City, weather.gov slash Moorhead City, anything you need. Click on the map or enter your city or zip code in the upper left. We have an hourly weather graph. We have a text forecast. If you want to know snow amounts, ice amounts, when do we go above freezing? When do we drop below freezing? All on our website. We update that uh, every three hours, 24-7. The men and women down here at the office in Newport, we work all the time making those forecasts. So please check out the website if you need more information. As far as the timeline goes, again, a wintry mix starts Friday evening. And then by the coast, Moorhead City, Crystal Coast, we're under that winter weather advisory. Maybe a few ice pellets, maybe a snowflake. Um, but again, probably a little sleet as possible. We'll be right near freezing. So if we see any icing primarily very early in the evening, then you folks change over to a cold rain. Temperatures not much above freezing. But as you head inland just a little bit, Jacksonville, Stella, Havelock, especially as you get toward New Bern, Comfort, uh, Pollocksville, those type of areas, a little longer period of a wintry mix. Uh, probably through at least midnight. Then as we get toward 3 a.m., even some of those areas will start to change over to plain rain. Um, New Bern, a little bit farther north and west. Again, a wintry mix of a little bit of everything through at least midnight, and then maybe not changing over to plain rain until near sunrise. And then Greenville and Kinston, especially from there north, Snow Hill, Williamston, Plymouth, Columbia, uh, Kill Devil Hills, so that far northern part of our forecast area toward 95 and toward uh, 64, some of those areas that will be just a little colder. Your sleet and freezing rain will last just a little bit longer, probably until near sunrise on Saturday before that precip actually comes to a complete end. With that in mind, this is our storm total ice amounts. Again, little to no snow, immediate coastline of um, Places like North Topsail, Emerald Isle, Moorhead City, you might see a few sleep pellets Friday evening, but we expect you to be uh, transitioning to rain and safely near, but probably just above freezing um, for most of Friday evening. But if you're going to see anything, it's going to be uh, right in that early part of the night. As you go farther inland, Jacksonville, Comfort, uh, Pollocksville, those type of areas, New Bern, Havelock, Bay Barrow, a little bit longer period of some sleet and freezing rain, maybe some slick spots on the road. And then our biggest concern, we mentioned Kinston, Greenville, 
Plymouth, Columbia, Kill Level Hills, these northern areas. So northern um, Greene County, you know, Snow Hill North, Farmville, the western part of Martin County from Williamson West, those areas could see up to a tenth of an inch of ice. Those ice amounts are not ice storms. I'm not overly concerned with power outages. The wind speeds are going to be light. We're not talking a lot of ice. In fact, some of it will be sleet. It won't be all uh, just freezing rain. But if we're going to see higher ice amounts, it's certainly up toward I-95 and um, places to the uh, north and west. We think that will probably be the biggest impact. We will see a little bit of snow. I know some people, including myself, are a little disappointed we couldn't get some snow with all this cold air across our area. Doesn't look to be in the cards uh, toward the coast. Maybe we see a few snowflakes, but not expecting measurable snow. Um, but as you get from Kinston to Aurora northward, a couple tenths of an inch of snow sleet combination. And then if we're going to see more than a half inch of snow, probably getting up to the northern part of Pitt County, north of Greenville, uh, over toward Williamston, Plymouth, Columbia, kind of that northern uh, tier. And you can see those darker colors up uh, toward Raleigh and, and north and west. That's where they really expect more appreciable amounts of snow and up into Virginia, places like uh, Richmond, Virginia. So as far as it goes, we are lucking out that it is a late Friday night. I know some of us are out and about, but we don't have to worry about schools. A lot of us will be inside. So if you don't have to be outside Friday night, very early Saturday morning, uh, you can miss most of it. In fact, a lot of us might just sleep through it. By the time we wake up on Saturday morning, we'll be safely above freezing. If you have to work like we do in the weather service 24 seven, just take it easy. Give yourself an extra five, 10, 15 minutes to get to your destination, especially if you live in one of those areas that is expecting a little bit more ice and snow, then you'll be perfectly fine. Just slow, uh, easy driving out on the roads. If you like video updates like these, comment below. We appreciate your comments. We take the feedback, one of those timeline graphics we made, that's based on some of the feedback from uh, the general public. So let us know what you like. We're going to do another one of these briefings on our website by Friday morning at eight o'clock. So again, weather.gov slash Moorhead City, or you can click that direct briefing link uh, listed on the screen right now. Thank you.